आखिर कौन नहीं चाहता भारत फिर से डेवलप्ड राष्ट्र बने आखिर कौन नहीं चाहता भारत फिर से अखंड राष्ट्र बने और आखिर कौन नहीं चाहता भारत फिर से विश्व गुरु भारत बने हम सब चाहते हैं हम सब चाहते हैं भारत फिर से सोने की चिड़िया कहलाए हम सब चाहते हैं भारत फिर से एक शिक्षा का केंद्र बने जहाँ पे देश विदेश सारे जगह के लोग पढ़ने के लिए आए करते हम सब चाहते हैं उतने इमोशन और उतने इंटेंसिटी से जितने कि मैं चाहता हूँ आप भी चाहते हैं मगर हमारे पास कोई विजन नहीं है कोई सॉलिड प्लान नहीं है कि कैसे भारत को टू थाउजेंड में एक विकसित भारत बनाया जाए मैं कुंदन कुमार विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिटेल्ड ब्लू प्रिंट अबाउट विकसित भारत टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन आई हैव द सेवन एस फॉर्मूला बेस्ड ऑन दैट वी कैन मेक श्योरली इंडिया विकसित भारत इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन दिस सेवन एस आर सुरक्षित भारत सशक्त भारत समर्थ भारत शिक्षित भारत स्वस्थ भारत सुसंस्कृत भारत एंड स्वर्णिम भारत अगर हम इन सात फ्रंट पे भारत को डेवलप करें और भारत के लिए काम करना शुरू करें 150 करोड़ पॉपुलेशन विल स्टार्ट टू वर्क टू वर्ड ऑल दीज सेवन फ्रंट्स डे बाई डे नेक्स्ट 22 टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स श्योरली आई एम मच होपफुल एंड यू आर ऑल्सो मच होपफुल इंडिया विल बिकम डेवलप ने सेवन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन वेलकम टू विकसित भारत टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन एंड अगेन वी आर कमिंग टू द एपिसोड नंबर टेन लास्ट नाइन एपिसोड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वेरी एग्जॉस्टिवली अबाउट हाउ इंडिया कैन बिकम विकसित भारत इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन it is one of the puzzles which we are trying to solve and which we are trying to find the solution by all of our indians india is a big country very diverse country but don't take in negative sense our diversity our diversity and our population is going to become biggest a strength to make india vikshit bharat to the 47 generally people will think how india will become developed nation Although we have 150 crores of population, now India is the number one popula in population. We surpassed China. At least we are not in top in the economy, but now in population we are in the top. Economy also we are in the top five. No need to worry. But one the issue is there. A still per capita income we are very very far. Because who are ahead to us in economy, world economy, their populations are very very less compared to us. Like if we will compare with the USA, which are on the top, their economy size is almost thirty-five trillion dollar, but their population is very less compared to one sixth or one seventh of population compared to India. Then their per capita income is very high. China we will compare; they are just lagging behind the in lagging behind the USA at the second position, around twenty-five to twenty-seven trillion dollar. But twenty-five to twenty-seven trillion dollar and population size almost equal to India. then they are also in the good position remaining all countries which are ahead to us they are having less population compared to india and like japan and uh, britain and uh, you can say france all these are only ahead to india their populations are less and gdp value are more but india is having one of the one of the biggest issue although we are 3 trillion plus economy size but our purchasing power are very less Our per capita income is very less due to we are not able to put our our world's very dominant way on the world world stage. Why? Because we know our all GDP is good, but still people are not able to get benefit what they could get. Then to discuss all these these points, it is one of the aspect. It is not only one aspect. Ki once our purchasing power will increase, per capita will in, will increase, then India will come developed. it is one of the indicator but our real growth will be there when it will be socio economic development will be synchronized and harmonious with our nationalism and our political system and it will not happen this harmony cannot be achieved without contribution of all of the citizen of india until unless all will not contribute it is not going to happen this just discussion will continue this episode we are going to discuss about the surakshit bharat surakshit bharat i have done already six part now i am doing the seventh part because i have given you seven s formula to become india viksit bharat that seven s formula our first formula is surakshit bharat kyunki suraksha ka sense jab tak nahi hoga tab tak koi bhi rashtra aage nahi badh sakta agar just suppose karo कि आप अगर अपने आप को सेफ महसूस नहीं कर रहे हो 
अगर आप अपने आप को सिक्योर महसूस नहीं कर रहे हो तो क्या आप अपनी कंपनी के लिए बेस्ट एफर्ट लगा पाओगे क्या आप अपने देश के लिए कुछ सोच पाओगे नहीं क्योंकि आप तो डरे हुए हो कब क्या हो जाए और ये सिचुएशन थी इंडिया की आई थिंक दस टेन ईयर्स फिफ्टीन ईयर्स पहले कि भारत कब कहाँ से अटैक हो जाए कब कहाँ पे बॉम्ब ब्लास्ट हो जाए कहाँ पे क्या हो जाए वी डोंट नो इफ यू केम आउट फ्रॉम होम यू विल रिटर्न बैक सेफली वी डोंट नो इवन पार्लियामेंट वन टाइम पीपल है पीपल ट्राई टू अटैक ऑन पार्लियामेंट ऑल्सो देन ऑल दीज एरा हैज गोन एंड नाउ वी आर इन सम डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एनवायरमेंट वेयर वी कैन फील वी आर सेफ सिक्योर एंड सुरक्षित सुरक्षा का सेंस सबसे पहला सेंस है जब तक आपकी बाउंड्री सुरक्षित नहीं है जब तक आप अंदर सुरक्षित नहीं हो तब तक आप नेशन के बारे में और नेशनल ग्रोथ के बारे में सोच नहीं सकते टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस द सेंस ऑफ सुरक्षित भारत आई हैव जस्ट ट्रेवल्ड ऑल द वर्ल्ड सिविलाइजेशन जस्ट ट्रेवल्ड टू गेट द आइडिया हाउ दिस सिविलाइजेशन दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वेन टेक्नोलॉजी वॉज नॉट देयर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन वॉज नॉट देयर मोबाइल वॉज नॉट देयर हाउ दे यूज टू सेफ गार्ड देन से to draw the inspiration from all these ancient civilization i traveled all six ancient civilizations and i have taken the ideas what we can take best out of that to make india further better and better and better then i discussed all five civilization like most ancient are our egyptian civilization mesopotamian civilization chinese indus valley all we have discussed now it is the last leg of six Ancient civilization that is your Mesoamerican civilization. Generally, mindset will be there. Many of the people will think America is developed last two hundred years before, when like uh, India, uh, America got independence in seventeen seventy four from uh, British. Afterwards, only development started, and yeah, and, and USA become superpower. This is one of the truth. But before that, we are thinking USA was culturally not much. developed but just for your sake of information america also was the uh, also was one of the home of the good civilization that is your mesoamerican civilization mesoamerican means meso means in greek it is called in between beech mein beech mein means america is divided in two parts north america south america in between parts whatever is coming that is called mexico part and these all areas there only main civilization developed in you can say around peak time was around 1200 bc and it has come to around 1500 to 20 1521 when spain was finally attacked and suppressed the civilization we can say we can say in all ancient civilization this was the last civilization which persisted till 1500 ad all other five civilization they have not persisted Even thousand A.D. also, it has most of the civilization has lasted around five hundred or eight hundred A.D. or most two three civilization ended in B.C. itself. Then this we can say in out of all six ancient civilization, this is the newest and you can say newest and longest civilization which survived. And when Spain attacked in fifteen twenty one, then that time you can say they use one kind of biological weapon. now we are discussing about biological weapon and chemical weapon that time itself they used biological weapon spain people has spreaded spreaded one small pox to the mezo american people and that was the one of the pathetic situation mezo american people not able to come out and a second reason was there spain people was having little more sophisticated weapon and these people major american people were having little old weapons then fighting also they are not able to sustain and health wise also not able to sustain then where they will go finally suppressed as till you will feel the vibrancy of this civilization once you are traveling though traveling to mexico city mexico city old name was different that also will discuss during that then major american civilization basically we can say it is a just bunch of three four civilization basically we can say it is a maya inca olmec and aztec these main are civilization latest we can say aztec civilization which has lasted and that time mexico was called mexica and afterwards 
around 1540, Spain, Spanish people started to develop the new city that is called Mexico City and I still know your feeling. And welcome, welcome again to Vixit 2047. This episode we are going to discuss about Surachit Bharat part 7 and during that we are going to discuss or we are going to draw the inspiration from major American civilization. This is our geogra geographical condition of major america major means this this part will come your north america and this side if you are coming that is the south america this part is coming in between due to name is major america means in between at different different time period all these different kind of civilization has flourished out of these dominant civilization was maya inca and afterwards uh, you can say this one almec and Aztec, these four was major. Other than these four also was there. So many are there with temporal, some period of time they emerged but suppressed. Some period of time they emerged but uh, you can say lapse. It was not sustained very long period of time. These four civilization out of Mesoamerican has sustained longer period of time. Just we will take the first chronology, how it is started or how old we have some evidence about this Mesoamerican civilization. You will surprise. Almost 21,000 BC, we are getting the oldest trace about civilization here. You cannot say 21,000 BC, we got some pottery, which was very good painted or some good, uh, we got the washroom or something, nothing. But we got some oldest trace, 21,000 BC. And that point of time, I think anywhere in this world, civilization was not there almost, it was not there. Many turning point happen around 5000 BC. We'll come to that point. Approximately in history, chronology always will work with approximately because we don't know exactly. Because we don't have technology to know the exact. We are using the carbon 14 method. As a science student, you might be knowing carbon 14, carbon 14 method, C14 method we are trying to use. And based on the C14 method, any of the historical things, we will try to get the idea how much, how much time before it could made or it could happen or it could manufactured or it could produce. Based on that idea, we will get some approximate, approximate time frame in that only. But one thing is very clear, like once we are getting 11,000 BC means it will not go like uh, yeah. Kuresi will be, it will come to 7000 BC. No, it may be 500, 400 years plus minus. Then approximately 11,000 BC, we are getting the evidence for hunting and gathering. All things are happening. Civilization started only due to agriculture. And we have the detailed discussion, we have discussed about the Egyptian civilization, how Nile rivers are started to flooding and that flooding. And that point of time, the Egyptian people wish they wish to God this Nile rivers will flood because that flood only started to give enrichment of the soil and that enrichment has started to increase the productivity and once productivity will started to increase economy and once income of society is increasing then another factor will come how these incomes will be controlled. Once this controlling tendency will come then some forces will start to emerge within the society and that they will able to develop the you can say empire or civilization or any of the any of the dominant king Sim similar thing will similar thing will happen in all the civilizations approximately 7000 bc agriculture started to happen and just suppose if agriculture would not happen people would not settle down at one place if people not settle down at one place that permanent settlement would not happen so, कहाँ से civilization होता है और कहाँ से कुछ था लोग ऐसे ही घूमते रहते हैं एक जगह गए पहले कैसा था agriculture के पहले एक group of people जाते थे वहाँ किसी particular place पे रुक गए एक छावनी डाल दी तंबू गाड़ दिए और वहाँ के आसपास के जो भी खाने पीने के चीजें उसको use करते थे जब देखा कि वहाँ पे पेड़ पौधे कम हो गए खाने पीने के सामान कम हो गए पशुएं कम हो गए तो फिर उठाए सारे सामान चल दिए दूसरे जगह की तरह से ऐसा ही लाइफ था और अगर आप ऐसा लाइफ जी रहे हो यू आर कीप ऑन मूविंग देन सिविलाइजेशन कैन नॉट हैपन सिविलाइजेशन ओनली कैन हैपन वंस यू आर फीलिंग 
permanent settlement and that permanency is given by agriculture due to root of all civilization is agriculture then here also root was agriculture once around 7000 bc agriculture started to happen and around 5000 bc first food plant was developed that is maize in mesoamerica or mexico and 5000 bc to 1200 bc village formation started just to see the sequence First hunting gathering, they are not, we are not sure, you don't have any Aadhaar card, you don't have any permanent address, you are keep on moving. That time, no permanent address proof, you are just mobile, you are keep on moving. Once agriculture happened, people have started to settle down at one particular place because you are getting, you are getting security to get the food. Once you are getting the security to get the food, you will feel okay. Why? We will go here, there because once you are going to new place. Once you are going to new place, new kind of threats will come to any person or any group of people. Then around 5000 to 1200 BC, village formation started and around 1200 BC, once village formation started, their agriculture product will have started to increase. Now same story, once agriculture product has started to increase, their richness started to increase, then someone, some forces of society has emerged and they try to control these all productivity and first civilization of Mesoamerica, Almec civilization has established in 1200 BC. And we got the rough idea why 1200 BC, we are taking one of the landmark when first civilization of Mesoamerican civilization, Almec civilization has established. This is our rough timeline for all these four major civilization Almec, Maya, Aztec and Inca. These four we have to focus to understand ap apart from that two three more are there but we are not going to take here seriously in-depth history class due to just will focus on these four to get the idea whatever we want to take. Major American civilization your broad timeline is 1200 BC to 1500 AD. Or you can say exact you will say then you can keep in mind it is 1500 AD. 1521 AD it was the time when Spain has attacked on this. Once Spain has attacked then you can say major American culture has suppressed and new culture has started to form. Almec, Maya, Aztec and Inca. Just we'll take the rough timeline. Almec is 1500 BC to 400 BC. They were the earliest major civilization in the region. This was the first breakthrough when American subcontinent has seen any kind of civilization started. Before that, no trace of civilization or not a single, single settlement has converted into civilization. Because settlement will happen many, but few of the settlement only will start to develop and they will start to become sophisticated and refine and their lifestyle will become complex and complicated and it will give birth to the civilization. It will give the cradle of the civilization. The earliest major civilization in this region was the Almec and that was 1500 BC to 400 BC. This will get the rough idea. Maya civilization is 2000 BC to 1540 AD. This was the longest and next was the, your latest was Aztec or Mexica. This has survived till 1521, till Spain attacked. Then Maya civilization is having too much contribution and even we will discuss about the Aztec civilization at last, not this episode, maybe next episode. Then I will, then you will surprise whatever we are seeing now, all missionary schools or British school system where house system is there that was developed by the Aztec. There it was very categorized which kind of child will go, which kind of a school and which kind of a school will teach which kind of education. This all school system, education system, Aztec has developed very much and that has given very good inspiration or very good source to become educated all the societies because they have not differentiated based on any of the factor, only factor was there Overall, everybody should contribute for the society. Who are fit for what? Accordingly, they used to join the school or joining the house. 
like house of youth that will be for military training house of uh, something else for something music training like that they have divided we'll discuss in detail maya civilization main you can say if you will compare with indian perspective point of view because finally we are going to focus for viksit bharat 2047 we are just taking the inspiration and we are getting the idea because this world all events are connected to each other if if we can try or we will feel or we can claim any one person or any one society or any one other state or nation can be isolated from others it is not possible at all you can feel pseudo way but you cannot isolate your all activities are depending on multiple peoples due to these all incident are connected to each other due to we are just taking this journey to take the idea how it will be helpful for our viksit bharat 2047 then maya civilization was mainly we can compare with indus valley civilization it was very knowledge based it was very knowledge based and you can say after indus valley civilization which are the <coughs> vedic civilization vedic civilization also very knowledge based they have developed all the knowledge which are still not deciphered by modern sciences then here maya civilization also it has developed very good in mathematics astronomy and writing and they have developed very complex political and social organization first time in american subcontinent maya civilization has given the idea of the hierarchy means any political system or any official system or any military system how hierarchy can work out to give the better efficiency and better control then this has become one of the good time to become a politico religious control system and it has made the pyramid of the hierarchy top to bottom bottom to top ne- next has come aztec which is around 1325 ad to 1521 this is last of these all out of these four they founded city of mexico and present day mexico city aztecs were the war like civilization that managed conquer their neighbors and develop an imperial state they built large cities with palaces temples and markets and you know that temples are related to what god what we are following ancient indian god of fire god of rain all these temple was there we'll discuss in detail you will surprise and their human sacrifice practice also was there that was one of the one of the negative blame be used to give on the aztec civilization or maxi civilization they are in this temple this human was giving in the form of sacrifice and people used to believe if we will not give the human sacrifice this earth will destroy this civilization will destroy or maybe flood will come or something kuch anhoni ho jayegi jiska hame pata nahi kuch natural calamity aa jayegi to is karan se wo human sacrifice karte the or it was accepted in societies that was one of the negative thing but don't think only negative so many positive thing aztec has given and it has given the way to develop the modern mexico city inca civilization it was around 12th century ce a starting a starting region was uh, something near to mexico only or you can say andes mountain it is south of andes mountain due to it, sometimes it is name also drawn inca 15th century under leaders these all but conquered by the spanish forces pizarro in 1500 1521 they conquered a spain people to mexico and 1533 they conquered the inca civilization thora aur samajhte little bit more detail ye hamare paas pura tabular format hai just rough idea kab kaun sa civilization aaya aur kitne time tak raha this is our first which are having as a historian as a noted down 3500 bc to 1500 bc this is our check period next is your pre classic period this was your 1800 to 250 classic period where maya civilization has developed and ep classic period that was again maya was continued and last was most important which has given the very good impressions or very good idea about how these mesoamerican civilization traveled 
in last 1000-1500 years. This is BC 900 to 1519 CE. Here Aztec has developed, Maya was continued. Then pre-classic pre -classic period what happened? Mainly we can say agricultural settlement started. Pottery production started. These two things are happened during pre-classic period. Means village settlement, agriculture settlement, continue continue farming, these all happen pre-classic. Classic period, main differences started to become rural and urban area, which are still doing only agriculture defined as a rural and which are started to become, started to they slowly, slowly shifted to urban area. Then rural and urban settlement and difference, difference social system of rural and urban that has happened. Social organization, this was one of the biggest change from pre-classic to classic and most biggest change was trade network. It started to make the network with all the possible way to nearby states or nearby places from where trade could be done. Trade could be done at that point of time it was most of the most of the you can say like system just interchanging the things. Post classic period, it is political instability and a Spanish invasion. <coughs> These all happen. Now, this episode will try to focus our first and old <coughs> oldest civilization out of Mesoamerican, that is Almec. Almec civilization, this already we know, earliest major civilization in the re region, Almec were noted for development of agriculture, the construction of monumental, monumental sculpture. And here we will get very big, big colossal heads. For whom this was head was there? For which person they are making this much big, big head? Mostly it was the player who was the ball player, correct? Their ball game was one of the important game and you can say just football is taken the reference from here ball game. Because that ball game, these all are the players colossal head they used to make in for giving uh, respect or giving the uh, you can say uh, just establishment in society like it was very big big it was you can say like uh, here something data is given almost 9 feet height nearly 3 meter height and sometimes it will be more than 20 ton weight more than 20 ton weight it's not easy looks like a small figure but this colossal head only head not body these are not the ball game player who was a good player then society was making like this uh, a sculpture monumental sculpture and another things are happened they developed the calendar and writing system and calendar not only one calendar they made two type of calendar one was 260 days one was 365 days and both were using one was using for spiritual purpose one was using for day-to-day -day life purpose then uh, apart from colossal head, what are the things happened during Almec that also will start to look. And cosmology was one of the biggest area where they have done good research. And you can just compare with our Indus Valley civilization. When we are praying to the, you can say Agni Devta or fire God, and we used to do the all mantras, almost <coughs> similarity is there. And they have defined like, we. Indian system was more in depth. Indian is defined like in ancient time only 10, 10 directions. Thus, this I they have but major American people, Almec people also decided divided decided four directions east, west, north, south, and every direction is having certain color code. This one particular color is related to a particular direction. Some logic would be there. One of the bird or one of the animals are related to a certain direction. And afterwards, they have divided this world in three different lokas. Ek jo hum bolte hai, swarg lok, dharti lok, patal lok, jo hindi mein bolte hai, or ancient India mein bolte hai. Similarly, they are also used to divide in these three parts. Cosmology, one of the biggest area where they have worked very well and divided are uh, divided all this world in four direction and three directions. <coughs> ball game they used to play ball game they used to and many of the 
many of the you can say ball court we got we have during our uh, excavation we got ball court many of the ball court we got calendar of 260 days and 365 days they are the polytheist not monotheist many of the deities they used to pray like not only you can say fire god or rain god many of the deities even only for night they decided nine gods are there sirf ratri ke liye nau bhagwan hai means how much they have done the research for the living and how they are able to connect with uh, you can say supernatural power afterwards this uh, san lorenzo san lorenzo was the oldest almec center where all civilization started and establishment started next was the law winter where middle formative time 900 to 300 bc and here first writing and written calendar developed during this phase little bit more we'll try to understand what happened late formative year between 700 to 900 bc this time almec has given the way to develop all these four civilization maya jeputek tatonic and teotihuacan one all these four civilization has developed maya was having main <coughs> you can say astronomy math calendar monuments afterwards hero hieroglyphic uh, means writing system <coughs> afterwards they now one of the question is coming which language they used to speak which language they used to speak they used to speak nautal nautal language and you will surprise many of the words are coming from this source of the languages like avocado tomato chocolates these all are the from this source this source of language now afterwards it is refined word british english has refined the actual word was there like uh, tot nuts that is made british as a tomato chocolate this is made british in the english chocolate बट रूट इज नॉटे थोड़ा और आगे चलेंगे कॉस्मोलॉजी थोड़ा समझ लेंगे ऑल देन वी विल गेट द गुड आइडिया हाउ दे डिफाइन द कॉस्मोलॉजी नाइन लॉर्ड्स फॉर नाइट्स मीन्स इन ड्यूरिंग नाइट ऑफ योर ट्वेल्व आवर्स नाइन लॉर्ड्स विल गार्डेड गार्डेड दिस यू कैन से अर्थ दे बिलीव बिकॉज ऑल दीज कॉस्मोलॉजी और स्पिशलिज्म और वैल्यू सिस्टम इन सोसाइटी ऑल आर फर्स्ट बेस्ड ऑन आवर बिलीव सिस्टम हियर दे हैव डिफाइड डिवाइड फोर डायरेक्शन दिस इज योर ईस्ट एंड रेड कलर वाज एसोसिएटेड विथ ईस्ट डायरेक्शन डोंट थिंक वाई ईस्ट इज टॉप दे हैव डिवाइडेड लाइक दैट वी आर टेकिंग वी हैव रोटेटेड जस्ट एंड वी आर टेकिंग ईस्ट एज अ राइट नो मॉडर्न कैलेंडर और मॉडर्न डायरेक्शन सिस्टम बट अलमेक हैज डिवाइडेड ईस्ट इन द टॉप एंड रेड कलर वाज एसोसिएटेड विद दैट one kind of blue tree was there that point of time and that was associated with your east direction and this center where all four directions are crossing each other that was we are generally telling it is a center or origin but that point of time it is called axis mundi axis mundi and here they believe fire god is sitting like this figure you can see this is our axis mundi and this fire god is sitting in that it is almost similar to our indus valley civilization where everything we started to start we start with the prey of the fire god due to any of the havan puja we will keep first first will start to start fire god then only will move next then this axis mundi it is fire god and out of our south direction it was color associated green and this bird associated was parrot north direction yellow and eagle and west direction it was blue and maize <coughs> this was the detailed cosmology just will take few more points related to almec civilization what are the major contributions to later mesoamerican people concept of zero although it was not developed because zero india is finally developed but concept they have given zero could be happen but their intelligence has not gone that level where they could invented what is zero zero in infinity only indian can understand and feel and even whatever we are feeling like this body is made by five elements 
and based on these five elements we can understand the concept of zero and infinity i will not come to that point one we will discuss later but like just suppose all five you have then it is like uh, 5 by 5 mathematics it will tell 5 by 5 out of all five you have 5 by 5 that is one if one you left like yogi will be there they will have started to leave slowly slowly first they will leave ghar <coughs> means they will leave their avas then it will come 4 by 5 slowly they will leave the cloth 3 by 5 they will leave the food 2 by 5 they will leave some other things 1 by 5 and if you are leaving everything it will become 0 by 5 and 0 5 is by 5 is your infinity means if you are leaving everything in this world what is the last thing our breathing that was the only connection we have with this universe either you are knowing aware or not aware only one connection direct connection we have with this universe or this existence that is our breathing once this is disconnected gone case nobody can recover then this breathing will be last thing whatever you have if just suppose this breathing also you control like ancient time big big yogi maharshi used to do they controlled then this breathing also left ichha mrityu then what will happen it will come 0 by 5 and you will come infinity infinity means you will merge with the infinite power of this this universal system and this is the concept of zero and infinity as per as per indian ancient knowledge ball game using rubber balls and rubber ball was not you can say blank it was hard and hard hard ball and you can say weight also maybe 7 or 8 kg and they used to wear some safety guards like now we are playing with any of the game with all the safety guards they also used to play safety guards another thing was there you can't touch by hand this ball game first rule was there you should not touch by hand only you can use your knee and hip game would be interesting and that is the given the latter idea about the football where you can use your knee also you can use your hip also you can use your head also but don't use your hand then here also ball game was there due to south um, south american nation many of the nations are still very good in football balls and goals early uh, afterwards art styles especially jaguar motif urban design city planning drainage system drainage system also it is given by this elite ruling class religious leaders religious leaders concept of religious leader also came this time religious mythology this point of time okay just will come to the ah, this is one of the figure this is your ball game ball courtyard ball courtyard where you can see people are not using hand and it was a hard solid rubber ball you can say almost 5 to 8 kg ball it was not like a modern day football it is few gram or half kg or 700 gram so 5 to 8 kg solid rubber ball and you can't touch by hand only use your knee and hip only knee and hip no hand it was symbol of universe also it was not only playing it was a some symbolic form of your cosmology also and sometimes if someone is attacked or some state then in place of battle they used to do the play of ball game who will be winner in ball game they will be winner no need to fight each other no need to make the loss unnecessary just will come to the modern nation concept this mesoamerican was in which area in modern nation whatever nation now it is di divided in last you can say 50 100 years before then mexico guatemala honduras belize el salvador nicaragua and costa rica all these country you can say it was the part of your mesoamerican civilization you will see geographically it was uh, one of the good area this side pacific region pacific ocean this side gulf of mexico and this wise this side another ocean all three side you can say almost water system was there means availability of water was not as scarce here and any of the any of the civilization were developed either 
near to river or near to ocean. Near to ocean only this civilization has developed. Remaining all five ancient civilization has developed near to river, either Indus Valley, near to Indus River, Nile River, Egyptian, all we know. Everything has developed near to river. This civilization has developed near to ocean. And it has given one of the threat also and one of the positive point also. They have never get a scarcity for the water, rain, or due to that, fertility was keep on increased, and this uh, this fertile land has keep on increased the productivity of the agriculture and that has given to the region for the controlling of this productivity and that controlling tendency has developed one kind of ruling class and that ruling class has developed further civilization. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have done next episode just will continue about the major American civilization and we will try to understand about the Maya, Inca and Aztec. Thank you.